My name is Rochelle Bonzi. I am a recent graduate of UCF and the Burnett Honors College. Um, my major was film and my minors were political science and linguistics. Um, also at the Honors College, I was a lab monitor here for three years. Um, and my honors undergraduate thesis was a short screenplay um, about a college of students' experience with executive description. So my research topic was executive dysfunction, which is the impairment of the basic skills that you develop as a child um, and then you use in every second of your day, every second of your life, like impulse control, um, working memory, task initiation, and things like that. Um, and the impairment of those skills can occur with a lot of mental illnesses, neurodivergences like ADHD and autism, and brain injuries. So it's a shared experience for a lot of people, but it's not something that's spoken about in and of itself very often. Um, and it's something that can be quite disorienting, having that disconnect between your mind and your body. Um, and it's also something that I've experienced personally, especially at college. Um, so when I thought about what I wanted to explore for my thesis, um, it was right at the front of my mind as something that I was interested in, um, both at an academic level and on a creative level. Um, I think that stories are a really good way of sharing experiences um, and communicating information with people. And so I felt that um, exploring this topic through a story rather than a traditional research paper um, would be a good way of communicating the experience with others. One thing that I learned throughout the process of doing my thesis is that it was okay that the process wasn't as linear as I thought it would be. I found that when I'm making something creative, I have a habit of going down paths and finding out that they're actually dead ends and then turning around and trying something new. And the concept that I came into my thesis with actually ended up changing um, from the month that I started my thesis um, to what I ended up with at the end. My thesis chair and my thesis committee were definitely supportive in guiding me um, as I came to them with ideas and I wasn't really sure what to do with them. Um, and providing me new ideas and new suggestions um, that became sources of inspiration for me as I eventually found um, the story that would be what I wrote in my page group one. My thesis consisted of a short screenplay that I wrote and a literature review that went through the philosophical concepts and um, psychological research that underpinned the story that I wanted to write. When I came into my thesis, I knew that I was interested in telling a story about someone whose identity was changing as a result of the mental health um, conditions that they were experiencing. Uh, so I began researching the ship of Theseus, which is a philosophical question about the nature of identity and change um, and some applications of that into objects um, as I began to consider how you would apply that to the question of a change in the identity of a person. Um, and then I also did some research into um, young adults with mental health issues um, and their self-perceptions of their own identity um, as a result of the change in their mental state. Without any spoilers, my screenplay is about a college student um, in an every day in her life as she struggles with severe executive dysfunction um, and tries to complete broad responsibilities and be there for her friends. I finished my thesis in the summer of 2022 um, and after that I took a couple months um, to let the story sit in my brain um, revised the thesis at the end of the year, and then shot the short film in February. Um, so we got to be on set with the weekend and bring in actors. Um, it was a really great experience. And then in April, I got to screen a cut of the film at the National Conference for Undergraduate Research, uh, where we had a mini film festival, we were in a theater, and we got to screen um, cuts of our films and then do a little Q&A afterwards. Yeah. Getting to bring the script play to life uh, was a really special experience, um, even from the beginning of the casting process. Um, getting to bring in actors um, and having them hear the words that I'd spent so long writing is something that was really special. Um, and being on set as well for those couple days and seeing the world of the film come to life um, was something that was also really cool. As the project has developed in the months since I finished writing the screenplay and the months since we finished shooting, um, the title has also changed. Um, so it's now titled What Comes After June and you can find all updates on the film at its Instagram after June.